Hello everyone. Welcome to another SolidWorks lesson. You are watching CATCAM online. Today I will walk you through Weltman corner treatment. We will use this table to demonstrate this idea. How this table is created, the link for that video is in the description. Let's get started. Each corner of welded structure need to be cut to match. There is a note to remember. Corner treatment can be applied to members which are in the same group. If you have watched my other video creating this table, you would have understood what group is in weldment. There are two type of members that we can add to the same group. First one is parallel members. In this table you can see legs are parallel to each other. So we can select them together to create a single group. Second one is contiguous members. In this table top frame members are connected to each other. So we can select them together to create a group. Remember these two type of members only can be used to create groups in Weltman. I will show you some examples. Click on the Weltman structure or structural member then select edit feature from pop-up commands. It will take you to Weltman property manager. In this property manager there is a window called groups. In this window you can see there are four groups that are used to create this table. When you click on each groups you can see the highlighted members. So they, those are belongs to the same groups. So these are the example for groups. So when you go through each groups you can see those members are either parallel or contiguous. So there are two type of groups in Weltman SolidWorks Weltman. Remember that. And also there are more than one way of creating the configuration for the groups. So this is just one way. I will show you another way of selecting these groups. So you can select these four parallel members to the one group and these four parallel members to another groups and these four vertical parallel members to one groups and there would be only three main groups if we follow that method. Let's do that. I will right click on these groups and then clear say selections. All the members are gone. Now let's create the first groups. I will select these four members. So those are those can be selected. So if you click on another member it won't select. It is because they are not parallel to these members or they are not contiguous also. So one group is created. In order to create next group click on new groups. It will take you to the new groups command and then you can select these four parallel members. Click on new groups and then you can select these four vertical members. The table is created but in a different way. So now click OK. Everything is OK but now we just need to add corner treatment. These four corners need to cut need to be cut to match. Let's see how we can do that. Before I proceed I would like to follow SolidWorks help menu. So let's start from the beginning. First step right click a structural member in the feature manager design tree and select edit feature. You can either right click or you can left click. You can click on structural frame member or you can click on structural frame. Then select edit feature. It will take you to Weltman property manager and you can see there are purple dots at each corner. Second step, click the corner you want to modify. So I will click on this point. 
then the corner treatment dialog box pops up step 3 in the corner treatment dialog box work with the highlighted group group 1 the group 1 is highlighted and also all the groups belongs to this point are in this corner treatment dialog box when you highlight when you click on each group the member that belongs to that group is highlighted if additional groups meet at this corner you can select another group from the groups that are listed step 4 for arcs only select merge arc segment bodies to merge the arc with the adjacent body creating one body i will show you this one in a minute because this table doesn't have any arc segment step 5 set trim order a group with a lower trim order number trims a group with a higher number don't get confused higher number one is considered higher number and two is considered lower number if two groups have the same trim order number they miter each other trim groups with a higher number and are trimmed by groups with a lower number so trim group with the higher number is acting as the tool and group with the lower number is trimmed by the group with the higher number so when you look at group number one which is number one which is higher and which is trimmed by which which is the tool and group number two is trimmed by group number one so if i change this order i will make this one number two and if i i make this one number one then group two become higher and group one become lower so in that case you can see group two group one is trimmed by group one when you play around with this one you will have a more understanding and also it says when you when we set both groups with the same number they miter each other so i'm going to we want to have a miter joint here so i will make group one and group two the same so i will make group one also number one so group one and group two have the same trim order then these two are miter each other click ok click on the second one and make group number two make one click ok and click on this corner click on group number two change it to one click ok click this point click on group number two change it to one click ok now you can see all four corner corners are mitered let's go to step 5 set trim order which we already discussed step 6 select the corner treatment remember this corner treatment would be available when there is a contiguous members this corner would treatment would be available only for a single group so if this group one has got another member which is contiguous then we can use this corner treatment but this table doesn't have that type of joint so i will show you that one in a minute and number seven select merge miter trimmed bodies to combine weld member bodies so that the length of the resulting weld member body in the weldment cut list equal to the sum of the maximum length of the uncut weld member body again i will show you this one in a minute it is not belongs to here this can be done only for a single group which has a continuous member contiguous members step number eight select set corner specific weld gap to override the weld gap for the groups so when I click on this corner from this specific 
from this point I can check this set corner specific weld gap then I can enter let's say 2 millimeter and then we can click OK then if you make a have a closer look you can see there is a one millimeter weld gap between these two members you can apply the same gap between these members as well click on here then click one okay and this point we make it two so i will add two click ok and click on this point again select set corner specific weld gap click two and click on this point set corner specific weld gap click two and click ok Specify the corner weld gap in gap between connected segment in the same groups. We did we just did that one. And now the corner treatment is completed. We can simply click OK. Alright. You can see there is a gap between these two members since we added weld gap 2 mm. Now corner treatment is completed. Now I will show you about, I will go to step number 4. The arc only, select merge arc segment body to merge the arc with the adjacent body. I will open up a, I will open up something which we can demonstrate that idea. So, so this we can use this one to demonstrate that concept I will open the drawing as well so let's move on to the frame now you can see there is an arc and two vertical and horizontal members so this if we if we check, click on uh, edit command you can see this is one single group and all are connected each other contiguous members so if you go to the drawing and cut list you can see three pieces are there one two and three so step four says merge arc segment body select merge arc segment body to merge the arc with the adjacent body so I will go back to the part and click on this one click edit and when you click on this dot you can see this command is available merge arc segment bodies let's see what happen when you click on this one when we click on this one let's see what will happen merge arc segment bodies save the part and I will go back to the drawing and now you can see there are only two members what has happened is so these two members are merged together then this is counted as one and this is counted as two and now let's move on to the uh, step six it says select the corner treatment so if I go back to the part file and then click on this one and go edit this point would have that option it is because all these members belongs to the same group and this is a contiguous point those are contiguous members when i click on this one you can see the corn trim corner treatment we can add the corner treatment to we can make this one either mitre or n but one or n but two this is the mitre when i click on this one you can see it's it has this arrangement when you click on this one you can see it has this arrangement 
So I will go back to my tag and click OK. And let's move on to step 7. Select merge mitre trim bodies to combine weld member bodies so that the length of the resulting weld member body in the weldment become just one piece. So when I click on this one, this option is also there, merge trim bodies. So when, when, when I click on this one, it is another, it is one option, merge arc segment bodies. And when I click on this point, it become merge mitre trim bodies. Remember, SOLIDWORKS popping up dialog box options would change with the situation. And when I click on this one, mitre, merge mitre trim bodies and let's see what will happen. So we combine, we merge these two and also we merge these two. And I will click OK and save. And when I go back to the drawing, let's see what will happen. Now you can see it has become one single piece. So we merge this point and also we merge this point. So this option are available when we have that type of situation only. And also it says this option is also available in the structural member property manager when you select apply corner treatment. So I will show you that one as well. This, this option is available in that one as well. You can see merge mitre trim bodies. So this option would be available only when there is a join in a single group similar to like that. And also this option would be available only when there is an arc. This both option are not available when we go to the table. If I go here and if I click on there, we can't see that options are available. There is no nothing about arc and there is nothing about mitre joint. I hope by now you have understood everything relating to corner treatment and groups. And you wouldn't need to watch another video to understand this concept. If you would like to watch similar comprehensive video like this, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when I release my next video. Until then, thank you very much everyone.